Hey everybody, welcome to the VHS Club YouTube channel. After publishing a post where we showed our fake light pistol grips, we were asked a lot of questions on how we made them. To answer those questions in detail, we decided to make a video showing the step-by-step -step process. This is our first video in this format, so if it appears that we missed an important step, make sure to leave your questions and feedback in the comment section below the video. In this video, we'll be painting a standard black pistol grip from an ENL Sensual AK-74. To do that, we'll need the following. The pistol grip itself, a degreaser, whatever kind, orange or yellow paint, wood stain, in this case we'll be using a Russian made one, clear coat spray, a sponge for applying the paint, and sandpaper. And don't forget to wear gloves and a respirator. Make sure the area is well ventilated too. The first step before applying the base coat is sanding the grip. We recommend using sandpaper with low grain size. Roughening the plastic is going to provide better adhesion for the paint. However, don't overdo it. Making one pass over the entire surface of the grip will be enough. The next step would be to degris the grip to strip its surface of contaminants such as grease and oils. You can use mineral spirits, aka white spirit or mineral turpentine. After making sure the grip dries off completely, we may move on to the next step applying the base coat. So, orange paint is needed for the base coat since just a coat of wood stain wouldn't be visible on a black grip. We're going to be using regular acrylic spray paint to do that. Yellow or orange color paint can be used as these colors are the closest to the color of Bakelite the AK furniture was made from. No need to try too hard to make sure the coat is even or that the entire surface of the grip is covered, as we only need to make its overall color brighter by applying the paint. A light coat of paint will suffice. Next, we're going to be applying wood stain to the surface of the grip. Keep in mind that it's important for the base coat to dry completely first. Staining the grip before the paint dries will lead to the wood stain and paint mixing, thus making you start the whole process from scratch. In our case, we'll be using a Russian-made fast dry cherry wood stain. It's unlikely that the same stain will be available to you at your local stores, so try getting a similar one. We actually tried several others before going with this one. Now, this step is likely the most difficult and requires some practice to achieve the desired result. It is quite possible to mess up on your first try, but don't fret, try again. It should also be noted that your result, visually, may turn out differently than ours, which is perfectly fine. We're going to be using a regular kitchen sponge to apply wood stain, but a paintbrush would do just fine too. Put a bit of wood stain on the sponge and stain the entire surface, using no particular movement pattern. However, don't just wipe the grip with up and down or left and right. The chaotic manner of the movements is what's going to do the trick and give the grip the right look. Keep in mind that while the paint dries quickly, you should avoid paint runs. Authentic Bakelite came in different colors and shades. It could be darker, like the one used on earlier AK models, or obviously brighter. Don't be afraid to experiment. You might end up creating your own unique Bakelite pieces. Just like earlier, we need to wait for the coat we've just applied to get completely dry before proceeding and applying clear coat. This will be done to somewhat protect the underlying coats of the wood stain and paint. We're going to be using an aerosol clear coat, and in our experience, it is best to pick a satin or semi matte, as these don't give out as much sheen as gloss clear coat. Matte finish, for instance, would make the grip look like a piece of a cheap Chinese toy. Make sure to apply the clear coat carefully to avoid runs. An obvious, but still an important thing to note fake lighting is done for aesthetic purposes only. Applying some paint and clear coat isn't going to make the piece as durable as one made from Bakelite. With active use, the surface of the grip or other piece you might Bakelite will still be prone to mechanical damage. The clear coat is only going to prevent your Bakelite pattern from wearing away quickly. For better protection from scuffs and wear marks, you can experiment with an epoxy clear coat. 
And that's a topic for another video. We hope that you enjoyed watching this video and will be able to easily repeat the shown process yourself. Once again, leave feedback and questions in the comment section below. We'll be glad to answer them. Plan to make more videos like this, so stay tuned to VHS Club here on YouTube and our social media.